hello everyone welcome to lead code weekly challenge so for those of you who are new to weekly challenges uh, let me give a brief about that so every sunday there will be a weekly challenge from lead code so as part of this you will be given uh, four problems to solve in 90 minutes so the first problem will be of uh, uh, difficulty of easy easy level so next two problems will be of uh, medium level difficulty and the final one will be of uh, hard level so uh, you need to solve these four problems in 90 minutes and uh, you you have multiple submissions but uh, for every wrong submission there will be a penalty of uh, less five minutes of time so your ranking will be decided based on your uh, time that you took to solve all these problems so it is better that you submit your solutions without any uh, wrong submissions okay so as part of this i would like to uh, discuss the first problem from this week's uh, challenge so the problem is uh, finding the maximum nesting depth of the parenthesis so the description here is a bit lengthy and uh, uh, little confusing so let me simplify it for you so you will be given a string uh, which consists of alphabets as well as the left and right parenthesis so uh, it is uh, guaranteed that you will be given a valid string a valid string uh, by valid string i mean that uh, there will be a uh, right parenthesis for every left parenthesis and uh, there will, the left parenthesis will always come first before the corresponding right parenthesis. So the nesting here means uh, if you have two left parenthesis followed by two right parenthesis, the nesting, the maxing, the maximum nesting depth here is two. Let's say you have a, an empty string, then the maximum uh, depth here will be a zero. So uh, you need to parse the string and find the maximum nesting depth of the string. Okay, let's look at the examples here. So in the first example, uh, we have an expression. Uh, so the maximum nesting depth here is three because you have one parenthesis, left parenthesis here, then followed by one more left parenthesis. Then uh, we have a right parenthesis, so you don't have to worry about that. Then we have, uh, so the left parenthesis and the right parenthesis, they will cancel out. So then we have two more right left parenthesis, so that, that makes the first left parenthesis and the two parenthesis here uh, make, makes the maximum nesting depth of 3. So 3 will be the answer here. So in the second example, uh, you have 3 left parenthesis here uh, that makes the maximum nesting depth. In the third example, you have only uh, one left parenthesis and right parenthesis. So this is the maximum nesting depth or uh, this one also is the maximum nesting depth of 1. So in the final example, you don't have any uh, parenthesis, so the maximum nesting depth will be zero. Uh, so uh, the problem is, uh, problem here will be, uh, uh, it's like you have to uh, parse the string and whenever you encounter a left parenthesis, you just increment your nesting depth and whenever you encounter right parenthesis, you decrement your nesting depth. So and find the maximum depth uh, after processing the complete string. So let's look at the uh, code here. So I take a current depth variable and change it to zero in case the string is empty, we return a zero. And I want to uh, maintain maximum depth which will be updated for every uh, current depth. So I go through the string one by one. I take every character at a time, one character at a time. And if the character is uh, left parenthesis, you increment your current depth and uh, at the same time update your max depth to the uh, current depth if it is more than the current max depth. If the current character is a right parenthesis, you decrement your current depth. And you don't have to worry about other characters because we are not worried about that. You just have to uh, count the left and right parenthesis. You just have to count the maximum nesting depth by using left and right parenthesis. So you can ignore the other characters. So let's execute and, execute and see. Yeah, you need to return max depth here. Yeah, it works fine for the given example. Uh, let's submit and see. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, runtime is of 0 milliseconds. It is faster than 100% of C++ submissions. So, because uh, we are just processing the string only once, so the runtime is pretty good. So, this is a linear time. Yeah, so 
do watch uh, other videos for other uh, problems from the from this week's challenge thanks for watching please do subscribe and like the video if you see you soon